Hi guys, my name is Kyla and I am a membership specialist out of the Saginaw region for GSHOM and today I am here to work on step two of the Brownie Migrate Day Badge with you guys. So today we are going to be doing a really fun hands-on activity craft. So step two is to sort out your stuff. So you guys will be learning about how to organize your things and take care of them in a really fun way to make sure that you have an excellent day every day. Today, what I'm going to be showing you is how to organize your colored pencils, your markers, your paint brushes, anything you can really think of um, into a can. So everything that I have on my table, I found at home. I didn't have to go out and buy anything special. So they should be able to be done with anything you have at home. Some examples of stuff I have on the table with me, of course, is my aluminum can. This had pineapple in it. So um, any can that you have soup or veggies or anything else that you can think of in your cupboard, once you use it, make sure you wash it out and dry it so that you don't have any food on your stuff. And then peel off the wrapper on the outside and throw it away so we make sure we take care of our things. A few uh, examples I have here. I have my markers. I have um, my crazy cut scissors for an option. And then I also have some of my ink pads to go with my stamps to stamp my name on it. But you can just write or paint your name on it. I don't have any paint, so uh, I'm going to stick with my markers and my stamps. And then I don't have any construction paper either, but white printer paper will work just as well for what we're going to do today. So to get started, once you have your can all prepped and ready to go, you are going to need to get your paper out and you're going to need to measure it. So you are going to need scissors for this, so please make sure you ask your parents for permission to use them and for permission to make sure that this is safe and doesn't cut you. Um, some can openers will open them uh, so that they're sharp and we don't want you guys to cut yourselves. So you're going to take your piece of paper here, just regular sheet that I have, and you might need to ask for help to hold both pieces, hold the can and the paper, and you are just going to wrap it around your can. And as you can see, one piece of white printer paper actually wraps around the whole can, so most sheets of paper should. And then you're just going to take a pen or a pencil, whatever you have, and find the top of your can. You can see right there it's the top. And I'm just going to make a little mark. Can you guys see that right there? My little pen mark. And then you're going to unwrap it. And then with your scissors, either you or your adult with help is going to cut straight as straight as possible. If you want to get a ruler and draw a line so you can cut a straight line, that's great. I can't find my ruler, so I'm just going to give it my best shot, and no matter what, it's going to work out either way. So I am going to cut this now. Ta-da! See, it almost cut your paper perfectly in half for the size of my can. Some of your guys' might be a little bit smaller because I know my pineapple can's a little bit taller than regular cans. So you can see that my paper does fit around like that. Okay. Um, so you are going to need glue at the end to glue this on here, but I'm going to recommend that you do it flat on the table first to decorate it however you would like to and then glue it on so that you aren't trying to deal with the bumps on your can. Then you'll get funny designs. Unless you want cool designs from the, from the, from the grid, go right ahead. Whatever you guys want. So there's lots of things you can do. You can paint, you can color, you can draw, you can use stamps. Um, I'm going to give you a real quick example of one that I would put together and then I will show you how to put it on there and then you guys are going to be able to either follow along with what I do or you can make it however you want. I, if I had glitter, would put glitter on mine, but I know you need to ask before you use glitter too. So please make sure you have your parent permission before you guys do anything so that you can um, make sure you're not using something you shouldn't be. So I'm going to pull out my favorite colored marker here, and it's green, and I am going to draw, hmm, I think I'm going to draw some butterflies on mine. So give me just a second here, and I will show you my butterflies, and you guys can get started on whatever you want to put on yours, whether you're still 
measuring or gathering your supplies, it's not a problem. You guys can most definitely take your time. I want this to be super creative and I can't wait for you guys to share your pictures of your final product when you're all done. Make sure you share those for us to see and we can share them with everyone. All right, I'm almost done with this butterfly here. And remember, you don't have to draw butterflies. You can draw or paint or stamp or use stickers if you have stickers on yours. Um, anything you want. If you're drawing or painting, maybe you want to put Girl Scout cookies on there because we all love our Girl Scout cookies. If you want to draw a picture of your pet or maybe a picture of your family, anything that you guys think will be creative and cool on your can that you'll hold your stuff in. And don't worry, you guys, um, we'll be able to... Um, Rewatch this video later. So if I'm going a little fast, don't worry. You can rewatch it and see what I did all over again so that you can follow right along as many times as you want. Because if you have fun doing this, I encourage you to make more than one because there's lots of things that could go in there. You could have one for your colored pencils, you could have one for your crayons, you could have one for your paint brushes, maybe even one for your toothbrushes in the bathroom. If it's okay with your parents, you could have one decorated in there too. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you, this is my butterfly. I like the colors green and blue. And then I'm gonna take my stamps because I do have stamps here and I'm gonna stamp my name on it. You can see I have all four letters of my name here. It's hard to see, there we go. Backwards for you guys and for me. And I am gonna use purple because I like all colors. All right, give me just a second to put my name on here and I will share it with you guys. If you guys are using stamps and ink, Please make sure that you're really careful because they are messy. Even me as an adult have um, managed to make a mess with mine. You can see that I have ink on my hands and kind of all over my table, but I laid down extra pieces of paper so that I made sure that I wasn't making a mess to make it easy for cleanup. All right, and then here's my name on this. And then if I'm all done, I can go ahead and put it on my can. If I wanted to add more butterflies, I definitely could do that. Um, but the, op the options are endless for you guys. Um, I will show you another one. Before we got started on this video, I made an example of a different one if you wanted to take more time. This one took me about 20 minutes to do. Um, I traced some circles with my circle tracer, or you can use your can um, because I really like polka dots. And I made this one. And I think this one's pretty neat too. Gave me lots of color because I like different colors. So you can see the, the choices. You guys can do lots of different things. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. This one also fits perfectly together and my polka dots come on um, top of each other just a little bit. That's all right. And then I am gonna take my glue, which I do recommend that you either use like a craft glue or maybe get your parents help with hot glue if you have some in the house it will hold this on here a little bit better than if you were using a glue stick even um i'm using liquid craft glue for mine um you don't need a lot just a little bit goes a really long way and it will hold it on there you might have to hold the paper and the glue together for a few minutes if you have binder clips at home it would be a good option to try and hold that in place from the top of your can so you don't have to sit there and hold it. Give me just a second, I'm gluing mine into place right now. And this one is very, very messy, just so you guys know, because I used a lot of ink on it. I used too much, which can sometimes happen if you're not careful. But I will show you guys my finished can. And you can see right here, my paper is too tall, so it does happen. I will either fold it down like I am right now, or I can cut it off. Either way, it works. All right, there you go. And you guys can see that I have my polka dotted can with my name on it. And then to store things in it, 
I am going to actually use my crazy scissors that I have on the table. And there we go. It's pretty colorful now, especially with those scissors in there. So you guys can see how I really easily just organized my stuff. It took us uh, about 10 minutes. Um, to just kind of get the idea of putting this together so you can see how easy it is to make sure your stuff is picked up and taken care of in a really fun way and making sure that we are keeping our stuff picked up so that we can keep playing and doing things all day long without having to stop and pick up our messes. If you guys um, want to do this with other things, please go right ahead and do so with your parents' permission. And then again, make sure you share your photos with us and let us know what you are putting inside of your cans so we can see all of your great ideas if you guys want just one more thing instead of just gluing the ends of the paper together because it could slide if you're not careful if it's too loose you can put glue on the whole can all the way around to glue all the paper just be careful that if you use too much it will bleed through and kind of um it could ruin some of the ink on the front um, but that is totally up to you guys. If you use hot glue, it won't do that nearly as bad as if you were using like my liquid glue. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave us a, a comment or send us a message and we'd be happy to get back to you guys as soon as we can. And I can't wait to see all of your wonderful creations. Bye guys.